Good morning. Welcome to the school committee meeting of Friday, September 4th, um, 2020. Um, the first item on our agenda is to vote to ratify the reentry plan, and I'll pass it to Dr. Cron. Thank you, Chairperson Maroney. Um, I would like to thank um, all of the Rockland educators um, for their voting yesterday. They voted to approve the Rockland Public Schools reentry plan um, by a vote of 166 to 10. Um, that's 93.4%. And um, I was, I, I don't have words. I was, I'm extremely pleased to think that we have that level of consensus um, going in and working through such a difficult, difficult and never ending set of circumstances. So I am um, deeply appreciative of your support and even more appreciative of your willingness to face so many unknowns together. Yeah. Um, I, am, I, I am extremely confident that this is gonna be a difficult few weeks. Um, the start of this plan is two weeks of remote or eight days of remote. And I know that we're gonna shake loose a lot of issues that we don't even know about yet. But I could not be more confident that we are going to do extremely well with this. That goes for our students and parents too. The support there has been overwhelming. Um, there is a sense of determination and signs of perseverance that um, should move us all. And um, so I, that's all I wanna say is thank you. Um, thank you to the teachers and thank you to the staff and thank you very much to the president of the Rockland Educators Association, Sharon McGonigal, the vice president, Kathy Paulding, and the head negotiator, Fred Damon, um, for working so closely with us since March to develop this plan. And, um, and thank you to the school committee who has been with me and us, Jane and Colleen, and all the senior leadership, the principals, um, through this entire process. It's been a great challenge for you as well. You're getting questions that you don't have answers to because sometimes we don't have answers either. And um, I appreciate your support and your work through all of this. And um, let's all just strap ourselves in because it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be a, a, an interesting start. But, and I won't ramble on too much longer, but I had a great conversation this morning with Principal of Rockland High School, Dr. John Harrison, and he articulated to me what I've been feeling quite a while now. We, he articulated that he thinks we are going to be a better school district at the end of this. When we come out of this, I think our teachers are going to be better teachers. I think in many ways, our students are going to be stronger, more independent learners, and they're gonna be better equipped to learn in 2020 than they were before this. And um, I know I'm an optimist, um, so I'm not ignoring all the pitfalls and the dangers that we are, that we are addressing by any stretch of the imagination, but I am moved by this vote of 166 to 10, and, uh, and I, I just wanna thank everyone involved and, um, and I will turn it back to uh, Chairperson Maroney. Thank you, Dr. Cron. And I would like to second all that you just said, thank you. It, it really has been a team effort. I was in the school this week myself and I saw the same determination. The teachers were rolling up their sleeves and getting to work. There was no one throwing in the towel saying this is too, too overwhelming. They are definitely overwhelmed and frustrated, but I believe that they are determined to get through this and do the best for our students here in Rockland. Um, it was exciting for me to see um, a proud moment as a school committee member. Um, I will go into the vote itself. Um, we did make one change on the schedule. Um, September 24th and 25th are now um, PD days, not remote days. So the students will be going to school remotely from September 14th to September 23rd. And September 24th and 25th will be no school. The teachers will be doing um, some more learning and educating to see what other skills they need to master. Um, I just wanted to make that noted. I also wanted to note that at the end, which if we add two PD days, then June 21st is no longer the last day. 
It is now June 23rd. And this um, calendar will be going out through an email blast to all of you um, so you can see it yourselves. Um, do we have any questions from the committee on the reentry plan? Anything else at this point? I feel like I, we've I, all been. I, I, I have just a couple, uh, a couple of questions, like I always do, anyways. Um, it, it has to do with uh, on page 32, the cafeteria plan. Yep. Is that going to be to pick up the same way that we now do it? They just come, they just drive by and pick it up. We're going to have a one-stop location right out here at the middle school, high school um, entrance. Is the plan? It's the, it's the same way. Come into in one exact place. place. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And um, I think that was oh technology. Everybody's got technology. All the students have technology. Every this, family. this coming week is when we distribute the Chromebooks. Okay. So last week. We had the teachers back for um, professional development and safety protocol meetings. Next week is orientations for students and parents, and we're handing out all the Chromebooks. So that will all take place next week. Okay, and, and they all, and we're, we're sure that everybody has Wi-Fi. That's what we're gonna work out, yep. We've, we've asked repeatedly, you know, anyone who's I've seen that, yeah. connectivity issues, but I think that a lot of that is going to shake out in the first couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's our goal is to have Wi-Fi for every every child. Okay. All right. Those are the two questions. Those are you know those are key you know baseline stuff that we need to get make sure that, that all that stuff works. Okay. Thanks, that's Mr. Yeah. Anyone else? I just have a quick question. Um, sure. I had a question that was asked of me that I just didn't know the answer to, and maybe um, some of you do. I, I understand that um, some of the faculty meetings that typically would have taken place in the afternoon are being moved to the morning at 7 a.m. Is that right? That's not correct. Um, it was proposed, but we're not doing that. That would actually violate the contract. Yep. Okay, good. My question was, that sort of answers my second question. My second question was just out of concern for young parent teachers that a lot of them utilize our daycare that opens at seven. Um, it, it, it would have been difficult for a lot of them you know, to make that meeting using our, our Rockland Schools public daycare at seven. But it's right. a good point if it's not true. So thank you, Ed. Okay. Yeah. Bless you. Okay. Thanks, Dan. Any, do you have another or that was all oh, you had? Yeah, that was it. Yep. Motion to accept. Second. <laughs> you guys are moving faster than I'm speaking. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor to vote to ratify the reentry plan? Aye, aye, aye. aye. That's five hands, so we're all set. That's a vote. And now may I have an enter, I'll entertain, I mean, a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Emily seconding, all those in favor? Aye, aye, aye. Aye. That's the five of us, okay, thanks. Aye.